So now I've added two power MOSFETs to the output of my op amp in order to make it able to deliver lots of current. So in this case I have my two 50 ohm resistors being driven by the two power MOSFETs. I have an NMOS MOSFET and a PMOS MOSFET and their gates are being driven by this red wire here which is coming from the output of the op amp. And if we, we have an oscilloscope probe hooked up to that signal and we can see what's going on. This is pretty strange. The signal from the uh, from the gate going to the gate is this signal here. And what you can see is here's the output, which is an amplified version of our input. But in order to achieve that, the op amp has to first of all drive the NMOS output device with a voltage slightly higher by the threshold voltage of the NMOS device than the output. And then when the NMOS runs out of steam at the point when the current goes to zero here, it needs to switch over to the PMOS device and the gain of the op amp and the feedback just snaps it down over to here. And we see that the PMOS devices have a much higher threshold voltage than the NMOS devices. We have a 2 volt per division setting here and we can see that our NMOS device has almost 2 volts threshold and our PMOS device has pretty close to 4 volts threshold which is a lot. So these devices are great for de delivering lots of voltage and current but in this case we have these extra 3 volts the 1 volt for the NMOS and the 3 volts for the PMOS and that meant I had to raise my power supply up to nearly 8 volts so from about 5 volts in order to get this device to work. If I turn the power supply down we'll see that I run out of power supply for the PMOS device pretty quickly and then eventually if I keep going down I'll run out for the NMOS as well. But those PMOS devices with that high threshold voltage uh, causing us to have to have a little extra power supply voltage to, to drive them. But for that little extra bit of power supply voltage, another 3 volts of power supply voltage, in this case we're getting the ability to drive a lot of current. So here I have my 50 ohm load on here and it's just driving it happily. Um, the op amp isn't having to deliver hardly any current because it's just driving the gates of the MOSFETs uh, and it's the power MOSFETs which are not hot at this point, that are driving my load.